Welcome back to the Justice Factor. Now to our winners and now to our winners and losers of the week. As usual in this section, we aim to applaud and encourage politicians and individuals who've done well and name and shame those who have not lived up to our expectations. We do not have a winner this week, but we celebrate the life of a great journalist who has left us all too soon. Mandy Rousseau was a talented, loved and respected journalist on the City Press, the Mail and Guardian, and Eyewitness News. She died this week at the age of just 33. This is a candle that went out too soon. This is how we remember her. How do they lead? How do they go to the January 8th celebrations of the ANC and actually say, I'm leading an organization? Or are we looking at the post Pulukwane type scenario where you have Thabo Mbeki being kicked out and so forth? You know, you, you'll see a very slippery slope after Mangaung because, as you say, um, issues of ill discipline actually started at Pulukwane. They got mm. worse throughout. And now we are seeing the results of the fact that the ANC hasn't been able to deal decisively with ill discipline within its ranks. So I think after Mangaung, it's going to be worse because then you have. You know, people who, I mean, we don't even know whether Khalema Mutlanti will still stand as, as president, right? But you will have people who would be disgruntled and people who would say the, the process wasn't done in the way it was supposed to. And then, of course, you'll have people from the other side who will say, we need to get rid of these guys who stood in our way on our, on our road to Mangaung. And that will cause an enormous amount of tension. Gone too soon. And now to our loser of the week. South Africa has been making headlines internationally for all the wrong reasons. There's been killings and violence by our cops, gang rapes, and a killing by one of, our uh, one of our Olympic stars. Now this. The Catholic Archbishop of Durban, Wilfred Napier, has described pedophilia as a psychological illness and not a criminal condition. In the same week that the new pope was chosen by Catholics, Napier told the BBC that people who were themselves abused as children and then abused others needed to be examined by doctors. So he means that all the priests who have abused children should not go to jail? Is this what the Catholic Church in South Africa stands for? What a disgrace and a scandal. Today I'm ashamed to call myself Catholic. And so our loser of the week is Catholic Archbishop of Durban, Wilfred Fox Napier. What a loser. And with that, we come to the end of our show. Email us on justicefactor at ENCA.com and join us next week for more news, views, and debate. Have a fantastic week.